All right, so to end off this Let's Play series, I'm going to show you both endings. I have uh, just completed Low Chaos, uh, the Low Chaos ending for Dishonored 2. But first, here is the High Chaos ending that I did earlier. With the fall of Luca the Bell, the Duke's line ended, and there was only one man ruthless enough to take the Grand Palace. Fighting his way up from nothing, none of his enemies were around to oppose the bloody Duke, Corvo Atano. In Dunwall, with the death of Delilah Copperspoon, her coven lost its power and was smashed. Their disastrous coup brought to an end. The rightful Empress once again seized her throne, and so it was that Emily the Vengeful rooted out the last of those who had betrayed her and ruled over her empire with the support of her legendary father, Corvo Atano, from the south. In his day, Anton Sokolov lit the fires of industry, starting a great consuming blaze at the heart of the empire. He saw his machines used for war and oppression, watching the powerful crush those beneath them. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he turned to the cold north, his energy spent at last, only an echo of the man he'd aspired to be. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. All right. And now, for comparison, here is the low chaos ending. And so a man born with the face of the Duke took his seat in Karnaka, ruling with empathy for those not born in a palace. But you're lucky that he turned out to be a decent guy, hey? Turn, but did not question their good fortune. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I guess you wouldn't, hey? In Dunwall, without ever realizing it, Delilah passed into an imagined world where her father's promises were fulfilled and her subjects would love her forever as she sailed the ocean with a great fleet and trekked across the Pendicine Wastes. It's kind of unfortunate that she gets, While like... in the true capital, Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, ruled for decades over a prosperous, mended Emily empire the Clever. with Corvo Atana by her side. I bet he thinks she's Emily the Cute. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry, hurling the empire into a more sophisticated age. He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. I wonder who that is. I wonder if there's gonna be some more story with them in the future. And the awesome music to cap things off is fantastic. All right, well, that, that was a fantastic game. They, um, you know, I'm an absolute fan of the, uh, the, the first Dishonored just blew me away, and uh, the second one they managed to top themselves. And and one of the best, one of the best things about these games are the, are the characters and the story, and just this world they've created and uh, the scenarios they stick you in, the choices you have to make. It is, it is kind of um, unsatisfying in in, in the. In the low chaos ending, it's a little unsatisfying that Delilah believes she's won and that she goes on to, uh, you know, basically live in her own personal heaven dimension and, uh, you know, basically <laughs> live in her fantasy world. I mean, I get it's not real, but is it not real? Or, like, did she create an alternate dimension that is real? I mean, that's, uh, 
if it's indistinguishable from the real world. I don't know. There's a lot of questions there. There's a lot of questions about how that would work. Um, also, didn't really explain how Emily was able to revive her father, and, you know, could she, like, revive all the other people that were turned to stone? I don't know. Um, but uh, other than that, like, I, th I thought just was fantastically done. I, I love this game so much. Kudos to Arcane Studios, and I am looking forward to Prey, the next game from this studio. Uh, that's going to be a good one. I'm very much looking forward to that one. Anyway, thank you so much uh, for watching, taking part in this playthrough series, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, let me know what you thought. Alright, talk to you later. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like. See the description below for links to our Sugar Bomb forum and our mods on Nexus mods.